Today in the lab, pacifiers. <laughs> Before you were a parent, you probably never realized just how complicated a nook-nook could be. But they are. How do you decide what kind of pacifier is best for your baby? We get the 411 from Dr. Ari Brown. I'm Dr. Ari Brown with the 411 on pacifiers. And with me today is my favorite lactation consultant, Linda Hill. Now, I will tell you, there are a lot of different professionals that weigh in on the great binky debate, so I want to hear Linda's perspective as a lactation consultant. Do you like pacifiers, and if so, which ones do you recommend? Well, I am all about sanity with parenting. So if the babies and parents will be happier with um, a pacifier, then I'm all for it. The important thing I usually say with breastfeeding is the type of nipple that they allow the baby to suck on. So I usually say that we don't want any funky shape is what I usually term it. Um, this is a nuck nipple, but anything with a flattened or strange shape to it because we don't want the baby to then do this shape on mom's nipple. That would hurt and cause cracking and scabbing and sore nipples. So we just want a regular shaped like your finger tip of any kind of nipple, whether it's a bottle or a pacifier. Okay, now the orthodontists seem to like these nipples because they apparently are less likely to cause orthodontic problems. How do you feel about that? Well, I agree with that and usually encourage parents that, you know, if your baby's still sucking on something two, three, five months down the road, then you can switch to something. Now we, in our practice, always encourage people to wean from these at about five to six, four to six months. And so right. I tell them that as well. And so if they're not using a pacifier after four to six months, then they're very unlikely to have orthodontic problems. Thus, you don't actually need this type of a pacifier. Right. Thanks for your help, Linda. You're welcome. Well, I know with our kids, we really struggled to get them to even take a pacifier. But with new AAP recommendations, encouraging parents to use a pacifier to prevent SIDS, and with Dr. Ari Brown's endorsement, you probably should pick one out. So if you're struggling to find a pacifier that your baby will hang on to, head to your local independent retailer. Today, we're here at Babies and Kids First Furniture, and they've got tons of different options to help you find the pacifier that'll work for you and your baby. Got a story about pacifiers that don't suck? Share them with us at dadlabs.com. We want to thank Babies and Kids First Furniture for hosting us today, and also our sponsors, Baby Bjorn. These baby carriers are beautifully designed, dad-friendly, and oh-so-safe. Baby Bjorn. We'll see you next time here in the lab.